Well, hey, Gundam Maniacs, welcome to another episode of Gundam Explained. Uh, for today's video, I want to talk about my journey and process and whatever with the Detolf uh, shelf from Ikea, or display case. It's called a Detolf. That just sounds like a name Tomino would have come up with for a Gundam character. But no, yeah, I ended up getting one of these glass shelving units, added a bunch of my Gundams to it. It looks awesome. But there was more I had to do to it over time, and that's like lighting, dust proofing, but yeah, we'll get into it. But before we get started, if you haven't, please subscribe. If you think this is a cool video, give it a like, check the links in the description for ways you can support the channel, and check out our Discord. We have a lot of fun there, including a Gundam Poser contest. Yeah, that sounds odd, doesn't it? Check it out and see what you think. All right, so the Detolf shelf. Uh, this is up my gun, you know, not too long after getting into Gundams, realizing I wanted to sort of display my collection in a... Uh, a nice way behind a glass cabinet. Um, after getting it, uh, after some time, then I bought the lights to add to it. Uh, then I went through and dust proofed it by adding some little dust proofing strips around it, and that helped out immensely as well. Um, but yeah, let's kind of jump into uh, the products I got for that. So no, just to show off this Detolf shelf, if I'm even pronouncing it right, Detolf, Detolf. I'm telling you, this is a Tomino name, right? Uh, but no, anyway. Uh, apparently this is uh, discontinued. Uh, they're going to be coming out with, or there's already a newer one that's out and it actually has black or white um, sort of uh, edges to it. And it's supposed to help with uh, kind of like hiding the cables. So for lighting, you know, I, I said originally I bought a, a kind of rectangular flat sort of uh, LED strip, but uh, there's this here, links for everything in the description. It kind of has a curve to it, right? Like a quarter circle. And I think that just does a better job of kind of uh, casting the light in the correct areas to kind of get a full uh, view of everything. And it, and it looks fantastic. I originally, again, I didn't have it. The old lights I had just broke and I thought that was disappointing. I decided to search around for something else. This just happened to be at a really good price. You can see at 39, um, the fact that what I got before had broke, I was like, well, I wanna make sure it's something that lasts. And not only did it last, but it looks good. But the other part of that is the wiring. So when I had the original one installed, the wires were everywhere and I didn't really like it, but I didn't really know what to do about it. And then I just, it just came to me, right? Like there's these, these cable management kits you can get on Amazon. This one's 12 bucks and it comes with these really long tubes that I was able to wrap around one of the, the poles that are on uh, the corners of the shelving unit. And by having it around there, I was able to just hide the cables in there. And that did an excellent job of making it look a lot more streamlined and clean. Down at the bottom, uh, I guess I could have drilled a hole more to, to have the cables like go through the bottom, but instead I just have it coming out the side. And this just came with some corner cable management pieces I just slapped on there. Maybe I can do more with that, but I think it looks good for what it is. Then the weather stripping. So this is the dust proofing aspect. Um, yeah, this one $10.99 and it has everything I needed. Um, and let's see, I got the, not the smallest size. Um, I don't remember exactly. Hopefully the 0 0.35 inch size is the correct size for you. But yeah, again, I didn't get the smaller one. Uh, this one actually worked out perfect. It was a little awkward trying to fit it in there. And when I would press it on, it sticks really good. When you take it off, sometimes the sticky part will come off. So I was able to pull that off the glass, put it back on just so I can kind of get it in there just right. So as I'm closing the door, it's flush with the weatherproofing or really dust proofing in this case. And bonus, uh, speaking of dust proofing, I love this little compact uh, duster. Um, I, I was using this for my shelves that don't have uh, any doors on them or anything. So yeah, over time, my Gunpla, my robot spirits would get some dust. I'd have to go in there, kind of dust them off. Or if I was doing a video, I'd have to dust them off. Um, and, you know, with my detail, luckily, hopefully that will keep them dust proof for prolonged periods of time or minimize the dust in general. But at least having something handy like this, I actually yeah, have it right here. It just pops open. Very easy to use. Very cool to use. I suggest that as well. 
And so within the Detolf shelf, and even on my other shelves, I like to get these little plastic acrylic display stands. So this, this is little cubes of various sizes, depending on the size and how you want to have them uh, displayed, you can use that. And then also this kind of three-tiered shelf uh, system here. Um, actually, technically four tiers since the bottom one uh, has a surface to it. But yeah, just another good way to display uh, Gumpla or Robot Spirits. I will say with the the tiered shelf systems, it, it makes it really tight to actually display uh, the kits or robot spirits properly. They will fall quite a bit, but I think for now this kind of works out. And then another thing I use happens to be this uh, lighting. And I actually have a bunch of these. These are really nice to have around because I can control them all. I even got different brands and can still control them all with one single app on my phone. I think that was pretty amazing. I, I, I don't think that was intended actually when I bought another set of these floodlights. But, um, you know, I use them for my videos, so like in the background where there's the purple and blue, that's from that. And then on the detail, if I decided to put a blue one in the back there, just because it, it looks pretty neat. And so then that's what brings me to this shelf. And it's ever evolving. I'm always changing how I'm setting up uh, the Gunpla, the robot spirits. Uh, and, and I think I'm even looking for other ways to display them in there properly. And sometimes I even think some of the shelves have too much. And I think I could kind of prune that down just a bit uh, to make it a little nicer. But I, I'm really happy with what I, I've got. But I know there are some amazing people out there that are all about their shelving set up. So please let me know below what you've done with yours. Do you have any suggestions, any accessories you buy for yours, or even suggestions with how you set up and pose your Gundam. So I think that's pretty cool. And remember, we're doing that uh, Gundam poser contest in the Discord. So if you've got a shelf set up and they're already posed, take some pictures, throw them in the Discord. Um, there's a Gundam poser channel in there and we'll do a vote on that. Um, I think that'd be very fun. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions. We'll talk next time.